What we're going to do today, we are going to learn about a tool that if you do fabrication or possibly custom car building, this is a tool that you might want to invest in. Now, not this particular tool right here, not this particular brand, but something of the sort. So let's go ahead and open this up. We're going to take a look at it, and then I'm going to show you how it works. So if we open it up, what we're looking at, it's called a tight fit angle drill kit. Now, what this mechanism is, is this actually connects to your drill just like that. And then what you can do, you can get in very, very tight situations to drill small holes. Now the way that this one works is you have these different sized drill bits. You can see here's a long skinny one. Here's one that's a little bit fatter than this one. This one's broke. I don't know why I'm keeping it. And then if we come over here, here is a very, very small drill bit for a very, very tight tight situation which we might have to use this but I doubt it we're not going to put that on yet but these bits actually screw to the tip of our tight angle drill kit once the drill I think you can see that once the drill is hooked up once this is hooked up to the drill itself this actually spins either forward or in reverse and believe it or not um, there's a lot of jobs out there that if you don't have this type of setup, you will never be able to actually uh, do the job. So, and that's basically what it looks like all together. Let's get in the car and I'm going to show you where we're going to drill two holes. And hopefully this thing's going to work for us. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie. The Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. So if you look under the dash of this vehicle right here, here's our wiper motor, here's our bracket. You can see that we have a wire harness we just installed. I'm going to bring this um, relay pack over. Here's a relay pack that actually goes right here. Alright, it's going to go right here just like this. And there's no way for us to get in there basically with anything. Um, you can see that a drill will not fit in here. Uh, let's go ahead and try. Looky here, I even tried to use my. Uh, I even tried to use this in here, and this almost worked. This almost worked for me, but it didn't work quite well, so I couldn't use that. Then I went to this right here, using my air ratchet, and then the south tapping screw that we're going to use. And that didn't do the trick either because it wasn't spinning fast enough for it to literally drill a hole or actually set itself in. So what we're going to do, we're going to go attempt to use our uh, tight fit drill. And I'm going to go ahead and hook it up to the air drill on the bottom. And I'm actually laying in here upside down. And always remember, wear your safety glasses when you're doing stuff like this. Very important. So let's go ahead and take our tight fit drill and see if this is going to do the trick for us. And hopefully it is. I've used this thing numerous of times. And it's always been, uh, it's always came through with flying color. So I'm trying, right now what I'm trying to do, i got to make sure this is on. Okay, it's on reverse. Okay, so now it is on forward. Um, if the drill bit is sharp enough, we should be able to drill a hole into, okay, I just had it. Okay, there's a little spot I already started. There it is. So let's see if we can get this in here and do some action with it with our tight fit drill. Okay, 
I think that's... Okay. Is that on reverse or forward here? Okay, I'm sorry. I had it on reverse. Excuse me. I was wrong. Okay, let's go ahead and try this again and see if we can go ahead and drill a hole in here. Here we go. Let's, let's go ahead and drill that hole. And there it is right there. The hole did drill in, so we did get a good drill. Um, now what I got to do is I got to, you can see, look at this right here. You can see where the drill bit will fit behind this motor here, but we're not going to put that one in yet. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mount our, uh, we'll go ahead and mount the uh, fuse box, and then we will find our other hole. So you can kind of see, uh, you can kind of get an angle of what our angle, um, tight fit angle drill is good for. So I'm going to take my air ratchet and then I'm going to line it up. I have to find the, there it is. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and get this started in there and then we'll unscrew it. Then we'll be able to mount our relay pack in there. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this hose. Very, very tight situation here, people. But as you can see, using the right angle drill, and this is too fucking big. Hang on one second, let me get the right socket. Okay, so we got this socket now. Let's uh, line this up like we need it to be. And this is a situation where air tools are fucking bullshit sometimes because of the air hose. This is where uh, electric tools would come in handy. So we're going to go ahead and get this on here. And, and then we'll go ahead and... Okay. Okay, so we're going to take... Okay, so we got that one started just like that. Let me get it out of here. All right, uh, it doesn't want to come out. All right, so, wow, there it is. Uh, let's go ahead and get this mounted up here, and then we'll take our right angle drill and hopefully be able to uh, put the other situation on there. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead, before I mount that, I want to put my ground, this is a ground wire. So let me go ahead and rig this up, and then we're going to bolt that on there and uh, be done with this situation. Big fucking long wire on here. Ain't worth a shit. I'm sorry. Here we go. Okay. I'm back over here. Thank you for being patient with me today. And what we're going to do is we are going to modify this uh, wire harness because it's bullshit. It's bullshit that they have all this extra crap that they don't need to fucking have on here. Fucking bitch. So now that we got our hole drilled, um, we can go ahead and get that started in there. And there it is right there, just like that. And then we can go ahead and screw this on, just like this.
All right, so what you just saw is me using this to do that right there. Uh, very, very handy tool to have. And that's just one tool that you might be interested in getting. Um, I don't know if you want to buy the Snap-on brand, but uh, you can see what I just did with that and what it can do for you if you get frustrated, pissed off, and, and anxious and possibly have a nervous breakdown over something that can be simply fixed and secured with a tool just like that. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, closing it up, and I'll be putting this back away uh, in my toolbox for the next time that I might need to do or get to a tight angled place that I can't reach with those right here. Take it easy and thanks for watching DIY Auto School. Please leave a comment below and also um, subscribe to this channel. That's the only thing that I ask you to do for me. I don't have Patreon, I don't have PayPal accounts, and I don't ask you for your money for me to make these videos for you. So please subscribe to this channel and show your support the way that you should. Show your support for all the videos that I supply for free for you to watch and enjoy and learn from. Take it easy. for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.